Hey everybody, it's Roger from Roger's Reviews. If you can see behind me, this was my first motorhome. And when I was in my 20s, um, <clears throat> I had the bright idea to, uh, instead of paying rent for an apartment or renting a room, um, I thought if I buy a motorhome, I could just basically park it wherever and uh, try not to pay rent and try to save money. Because I was always a go-getter, a hustler, I always had two or three jobs. And at the time, um, I had a, a pickup, I had a <clears throat> uh, 1993 Ford Ranger, four-cylinder, five-speed with a, um, a little camper on the back. And I was a massage therapist, personal trainer, and I also had a vending business. And I was in my early 20s. <clears throat> and then I also did security at night. So I didn't make a lot of money doing security, but... I figured if I could rent back then was probably around uh, three or four hundred a month. I figured if I could save on rent and save my money, you know, <clears throat> it would be worth it. So, and I also had a I had a, a chocolate Labrador Retriever, and she was one of the best dogs I ever had. She's very obedient, and I would take her to work with me. And so, even if I would go on a vending route. Um, I could take her with me and she'd kind of watch around because I did that at night as well so I could set my own schedule. But uh, I found this van um, in the newspaper. Back then we <laughs> looked in the newspaper for vehicles and it was a 1978. Uh, this was the closest thing I could find. Um, I think it said spring air or spring breeze or something right up here. This is almost identical. I think it was maybe a little more rounded, but this was the same color, the same year, the same size, everything almost identical. Of course, the one I had was a lot more faded, it wasn't as nice, um, and the stickers were all peeled off, and what I did was I peeled all the orange stickers off, and I went to an auto parts store, and I got real thick black uh, pinstriping, and I covered it all up. So there was a black pinstripe here, and then I think a black pinstripe here, and I peeled everything off, and there was a leak in the front corner, and what I did was um, I went up in the front corner and I cut all that plywood out and replaced it. And then I patched the roof and then I went, I think it was to like Home Depot and I got some of that roof sealant they usually use on the top of, uh, you know, like uh, single wides. It's like a white uh, sealer and I did the whole roof. Um, the air conditioner didn't work, but uh, I tried to park under trees and stuff. And the generator didn't work, but the furnace did. Um, and back then I didn't have much money, so I had an owning generator. And I went to have it repaired, and uh, uh, I only paid like 1500 for the motorhome. And when I went to go get the uh, uh, owning uh, generator, it was, it was more expensive than I could afford. So I was never able to get my generator back. So I never got my generator back, and... Um, uh, I has to also had to repair there was some steps right here it's all wood I pulled all those out and uh, replaced the wood on the steps and there was a stainless steel um, stove so what I did was um, I pulled up all the carpeting because it what belonged to an older couple and they passed away and the grandkids got it and they didn't want it so when I pulled up the carpet there was a bunch of sand all through under that sunk through the carpet so I pulled the carpet all up um, everywhere I vacuumed everything out and then I just got black paint and I basically painted everything uh, gloss black so the whole interior was gloss black wood grain and stainless steel so it actually came out pretty good and the outside was I painted a few spots it was all white with a black pinstripe so um, I don't have any pictures of it but uh, I lived in it um, almost two years and what's nice is it has like a queen size bed up the top and then uh, of course it's just a van underneath and then on the inside on one side it had a couch the other side it had um, a dining room table that you could fold down but it had lots of storage um, it also had a tiny little shower in the back and like a little tub you could sit down and kind of wash yourself with a it had like a wand and um, it had uh, a closet in the back and just had a lot of storage up top um, but yeah I really liked it the problem was I got a good deal on it and 
that could never get a title because back then you had to take if you didn't have a title and no one gave you a title you had to drive it all aqu- all the way across town without a license or have it towed and then they had to do an inspection and basically get all the VIN numbers get everything um, down and I just never had the, enough money or the opportunity to um, I always had a temporary tag and so eventually um, I lost it uh, I ended up selling it or letting someone have it or getting rid of it but I lived in it for almost two years and um, it taught me a lot about <laughs> RVing and uh, I lucked out one time I had a one of my friends his neighbor uh, it was running a place and inside their driveway where he let me park um, there was an extension cord that I plugged in in a hose and also too they had a drain clean out for their sewer and so once a month I was able to just pop that drain clean out and I was able to flush my brown, dark water my black water and then I would flush my gray water on top of it and clean my system out so it was a really good setup and I think he charged me like it's like twenty or thirty dollars a month so that's like that was like my all, all my overhead and he was renting too so basically um, it covered it helped cover his rent because back then rent wasn't all that expensive and thirty or forty bucks was a big chunk of your rent um, and I didn't drive it that much because uh, I had temporary tags on it and I basically just used it to live out of is me and uh, my dog I had a female chocolate lab I think she was about 60 pounds um, but she was very obedient she always was with me and I had her since she was a puppy so she never messed inside or um, and she also would bark if someone you know came around the trailer and I'd always usually park it at a friend's house or somebody I knew so I usually knew my surroundings and um, I just made a few modifications to it but pretty much kept it stock um, the only thing I wish I would have done was I wish I would have been able to have enough money to get my generator um, back because then I could have had my own power <clears throat> and uh, uh, also too it would have been nice if the air conditioning worked because it gets really hot in Phoenix and so I had a few months where it was un- almost unbearable um, at night time I had a fan and I'd open the windows but it was still pretty hot but when you're young it's not as bad <laughs> I don't know if I could do it anymore but uh, as long as you're under trees and uh, you got a fan on, it was you could do it. But uh, yeah, this is uh, it had a 318. And the first thing I did was I did a full um, tune-up on it, spark plugs, distributor cap, rotor, uh, oil change, um, of course fresh gas. It ran pretty good, but like I said, I didn't really have to uh, move around very much, so I just kept it in one spot. I'd start it every once in a while, moving around just to keep. You know the fluids moving because you can't if you have a gas vehicle like that you can't let them sit because when I first bought it I had problems with it <clears throat> before I gave it the tune-up but as long as you have fresh gas in it and and run it every couple days it, it's usually all right and they're pretty simple these vans the 318s are really good motors they had simple transmissions they're pretty <clears throat> pretty durable and uh, uh, they ran pretty well so yeah, that was the uh, first motorhome I lived in for about two years. And so <clears throat> uh, I never really bought another one after that because, you know, after I lost that one, I had to get rid of it. Um, I, if I had to do it again, I would probably, because um, later on my parents had, a, or before that, they had um, pull behinds. And I think I would rather do that because the problem with the motorhomes if the uh, motor breaks down and you can't pull it then usually you're stuck because it's very expensive to tow these so um, and another thing nice too is this was cab was open so you also got to use the captain's chairs and stuff so it was kind of part sort of part of your living space Um, and uh, the only thing cut off was the bed you couldn't stand up here uh, because the cab and the bed was over top but at least this bed here gave you more living space in the back. But anyway, this is Roger's Reviews, and I was doing van life or motorhoming and saving money uh, over 20 years ago. Yeah, so, yeah, over 20 years ago, I was doing this, and I had an electric, uh, 
was an electric scooter that I would go back and forth to work with also. So, yeah, this was part of my life back in, uh, in the 90s, I think. So, anyway, um, if you like this review, crush the like button, and uh, hopefully I can find some pictures of this old van I used to have. That would be cool. Um, back then we didn't have cell phones with uh, cameras too much, so, but <clears throat> anyway, over and out. Have a great day.